All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So after almost a year from its initial release on Global, the Infinite Dragon Ball History event is finally getting two new stages added in the near future. Some people are saying it's tomorrow. I feel like it's more likely to be in two days from now, but I could be wrong. So I'll just say very soon, very, very soon. JP, on the other hand, already has seven stages on this event. I mean, it's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter. I just want to put that out there. Anyways, uh, the theme for these two new stages are going to be level three, Goku's family, and level four, Vegeta's family. And of course, all the enemies here for level three are members of Goku's family. And then all the enemies for level four are members of Vegeta's family. You guys remember the first two levels were Android slash Cell Saga versus Super Warriors for level one, and then Android slash Cell Saga versus Androids for level two. And of course, all this stuff happened during the 300 million download celebration. And now we're almost on the five year anniversary for Global. So it's been a hot minute since we got anything new for this event. But uh, moving on to the actual enemies themselves, the first phase, for Goku's family is Bardock, and then we're gonna move on to Raditz, and then Goku himself, then Gohan, Goten, Pan, and finally Goku Jr. And for the Vegeta event, it's King Piccolo, sorry, <laughs> King Vegeta, I don't know where Piccolo came from. King Vegeta, and then Vegeta himself, then Tarble, then Teen Trunks, Kid Trunks, uh, Pula, and then finally we have Vegeta Jr. And the types here change from every state or from each phase to the next. So we're starting off with an AGL, Super AGL Bardock, then Extreme STR Raditz, then Super Tech Goku, Super Fizz Gohan, Super AGL Goten, Super Fizz Pan, and finally Super Int Goku Jr. And for Vegeta's family, it's Extreme Int uh, King Vegeta. Almost said Piccolo again. I don't know what's up with that. Why am I getting Piccolo and Vegeta mixed up? And then Super AGL Vegeta, Super Int Tarble, Super Fizz uh, Trunks, Super STR uh, Kid Trunks, Super Tech Bula, and finally Super Fizz Vegeta Jr. So as you can see, basically all five types are covered on both of these stages. So you kind of have to bring a team with different types of units, right? You can't just do a mono team of like all Super STR or all Super AGL or something like that because it's not really gonna work too well. I mean, I'm sure it's probably possible, but you're just making things a lot more difficult for yourself, you know? And uh, all these enemies also have unique attributes as well, with the exception of the Bardock here, as well as the Tarble. Um, so except for Bardock, everybody else has some kind of unique attribute. As you can see, Raditeer actually locks your characters from being switched in the rotation. So he kind of messes up your rotations, just like some of the Frieza stages out there where uh, he just locks your characters in place, right? So that's kind of annoying, but it's only stage two, so it's not that bad. And then from then, uh, from there on out, every single enemy from Goku to uh, Goku Jr. here can not be stunned. They're immune to stunning. They cannot have their attack lowered, and they also can't be sealed. So don't bring any units specifically to stun or seal because they're not gonna be effective here. And Goku himself also can evade attacks. I'm not really sure what the percentage here is. I'm gonna guess like in the range of like 20 to 30%. So it's probably not gonna be too, too annoying. Not like Karutagarn, but still pretty annoying. And uh, for Vegeta's family here, Vegeta, King Vegeta himself can't, uh, or locks your character from switching just like the Raditz. And then uh, Tarwell does nothing, but everybody, everybody else uh, can't be stunned can't be uh, sealed and also can't have their defense lowered, but they can, from what I can tell, have their attack lowered. So you can bring some attack lowers, attack lowering units if you want. And uh, Pan, sorry, not Pan, Bula here also can seal your enemy super attacks, your enemies, your ally super attacks, and also can stun you as well. So she's gonna be a little bit extra tricky. But uh, those are the enemies, those are the stages right there. Um, they're gonna be decently difficult. I mean, not like, not that hard, but like still somewhat of a challenge. So what I would recommend is to follow the same strategy as you used for the previous stages, which is basically bring, you know, a few infinitely stacking defensive units, like, uh, I don't know, like the Super Saiyan Blue Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, 
or you know anybody else that stuns the uh, stuns defense that stacks defense infinitely it's been a long day guys my words are getting all mixed up my bad but uh, you know you know what i'm trying to say it right just bring some infinite stackers you should be good to go and uh, as far as the rewards here you get a good amount of rewards guys okay so basically you get some stones for defeating uh, each of the enemies for the first time and you also get some extra stones for using specific um, units like specific units from specific categories on your team right so for the first uh first level here or level three for goku's family you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two stones for clearing all the missions um you get these stones for just beating all the stages once and then once you beat the entire stage you get five more stones and then you get two more stones for clearing stage three with at least three Vegeta's family category characters. And then you get another two stones for clearing with at least three worthy rivals category characters. So ideally, um, if you if you can, you should build a team with three Vegeta's family and three worthy rivals or some combination, you know, some combination like that. So you can clear all the missions at once. And then uh, once you clear all the missions, you get one more stone. So like I said, a total of 22 stones, if I did my math correctly, which I might not have. Like I said, it's been a long day. And then the same thing for the Vegeta's family one. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. It should be the same, right? So I think 22 stones. And uh, you get these stones here for just beating everybody once. Then you get five stones for beating the entire stage. And then you want to have three Goku's family category characters and three Kamehameha category characters on your team. And then once you clear all the missions, you get one more stone for a total of 22 stones. So that's 44 stones you're looking at for completing all the missions. Man, I hope my math is right. Should be close though. Anyways, uh, a lot of stones from these two levels. Uh, gonna be good for people who are saving up for the 5 year anniversary or if you're planning to summon for the Super Saiyan 2, uh, Goku and Vegeta that are coming up for this next celebration, then you can use these stones towards that, that as well. But uh, that's it guys, that is the video, just wanted to fill you guys in on the details for the upcoming new stages. We still got a bunch coming in the future, like the uh, one for the Dragon Ball Super Broly uh, movie, the one for the future Trunks saga, um, and as well as the youth one that just dropped on JP like yesterday, I think. So still got a lot to look forward to, still a lot of stones left to farm in the future. But for now, we're getting the Goku's family and Vegeta's family stages. And I uh, hope you guys are excited. Like I said, I think it's going to be in two days. It could be tomorrow, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too. So that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.